Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in this video, I would like to share the latest leaks for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Specifically, I would like to share the top five latest leaks that give us the maximum amount of information regarding the S8 and S8 Plus. This video is designed to satisfy those of you whose mouth waters at the thought of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Before I dive into the top five leaks, here is a bonus leak that shows us that the S8 Plus screen resolution is 2960 by 1440, which is supposed to be the Quad HD Plus resolution, as opposed to the regular Quad HD resolution, which is 2560 by 1440. That's what we have on the S7 and S7 Edge, but on the S8 and S8 Plus, we are going to have this Quad HD Plus resolution, which is going to give us even more pixels. So let's start with leak number one, which is pretty new. It comes from Evan Blass, an extremely reliable Samsung leaker, who has been dumping images of the S8 left and right. This leak confirms the existence of a gold-colored Samsung Galaxy S8. In his previous leaks, he had only leaked black, gray, and silver, which ended up disappointing some people. But thank God we have the gold color available as per this leak. The next leak comes from Slash Leaks, and it is a photo of a Galaxy S8 Plus sitting right next to an iPhone 7 and an S7 Edge. So we get an idea of its comparative size. It is only slightly larger than an iPhone 7 and almost equally as large as the S7 Edge, yet has a monstrous display of 6.2 inches, as the display encompasses almost the entire front of the phone. In comparison, the iPhone 7 is only 4.7 inches for the display and the S7 Edge is 5.5 inches. So you are getting an amazingly large display and a lot of real estate to enjoy content on the S8 Plus. The next leaks is two leaks in one and it is something you may have seen from my previous videos unless you are a new viewer. And this is probably one of the most important pieces of Intel we get regarding the S8 and S8 Plus. It is the official spec sheet of the S8 and S8 Plus covering mostly everything while missing a few pieces of information, but you can see that the screen size for the S8 is 5.8 inches while the S8 Plus is 6.2 inches. And other than that, everything is the same, including a 12 megapixel camera on the rear. Next leak is one in which the actual packaging has been revealed for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus variant for Verizon. The interesting thing here is that the packaging contains info such as the contents of the box, which is a Galaxy S8 Plus, a pre-installed SIM card, a wall USB charger, a micro USB connector, a headset, and user guides and manuals. Only concern here is where it says micro USB connector, which might fool us into thinking that the S8 has a micro USB port, but don't worry, we certainly will get a USB Type-C connector, otherwise I will simply be devastated. And the final leak is actually from Samsung themselves where they reveal the new Bixby voice assistant, which is going to be the same thing as Siri for iPhone or Assistant for Google. It's a voice command utility. The most important thing here is that Bixby enabled apps on the S8 will allow you to use voice commands for anything that you can touch the screen for. So if an app has a record button you can tap, with Bixby integration, you can just say record instead of tapping the screen. Just for an example, imagine the possibilities for the camera app. You can say things like take a photo, delete a photo, record 4K video, or perhaps record 1080p video, or even say things like change the camera mode to panorama mode. And of course, there's going to be a dedicated physical button just to launch Bixby on the left side of the S8 right under the volume rocker. So with all these leaks, we are able to put together the S8 before it is even released. It is going to be a gorgeous phone. It's going to be approximately $800 or more with a phenomenal display and full of fancy features. So what do you think? Are you going to buy the S8 or do you want the larger S8 Plus or would you rather buy the iPhone 7? Let me know of your thoughts and intentions in the comments below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more S8 and S8 Plus coverage, as well as in-depth, detailed videos for when the phones actually get released for sale in April. Now, before you leave, give this video a thumbs up and have a fantastic day.